Uh, my dad, when I was 18 years old, he got drunk, uh, made a trade for a gun, uh, come home, and uh, when he was trying to unload it, he asked him to shut himself. So I run out there and I stayed out there with him while he passed away. I lived that every day. I was in a job uh, that I had been in for 25 years. There was a lot of stresses, a lot of stuff going on. That was another thing that I was trying to run away from, trying to, to drink myself away from, to forget about. I had hidden my alcohol, alcoholism from everybody at work. I had it set down to a time period, how much I could drink, uh, how drunk I could get, and, and it was such a routine that I could be completely drunk and not remember any of it. I had a certain kind of toothpaste that I would use, a mouthwash. I had gotten to the point <clears throat> physically that beer couldn't do it. From that point, the beer was just useless. It was just a bottle of whiskey. I sat down in my chair and it just kind of all hit me at one time. You know, something's got to change. I mean, I, I had to clear the whiskey bottles out of the way and everything else, but I got on my hands and knees. I told God that I wanted Him to be a part of my life more tomorrow than today and more the next day than the day before for eternity. Or would you please kill me? That's when I surrendered. The person that, that knelt down on that shop floor died. And he's gone. Forever. I went from that to within 12 hours the next day at work testifying to everybody I could find how great God was. How great God he is. And what all he can do for you. What I asked God on the floor of my shop that night, he did. He didn't just shave off bits and pieces at a time. He picked the whole thing up and threw it away. A week after God took my burden, uh, I was called into my boss's office and he had eliminated my job position and laid me off. And it didn't bother me. At one time it would have destroyed me. God delivered me. The old me is dead. So everything that I have now is to his glory. Who I am now is just pretty much a complete opposite from who I, I was before. My name is Kevin Edmondson and this is my story.